I've seen a lot of films this year, and I'm going to say, as of right now, this may be one of my favorite films that I've seen thus far in 2023. Folks, let's jump into my review of the new film, The Re-Education of Molly Singer. Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel today for another review. And today, we're going to be reviewing the new film, The Re-Education of Molly Singer, Coming to theaters September 29th. This one was directed by Andy Palmer, writers Todd Friedman, and Kevin Haskin. And I'm going to say that this film was very unexpectedly a lot of fun, hilarious, and then this overall a good time. And I think anybody, especially anybody that's been to college, I think you're going to see a lot of yourself in our main character molly singer played by Britt robertson because molly is somebody who sort of identified college as her glory days and now that she's a young lawyer you know the world is pretty big and yes she's ready to make money she's tired of being poor she's got to pay those student loans and whatnot but i don't think she's come to terms that like the responsibilities of being in the real world you know, and there was a lot of things in college we were able to get away with. And while those may be some of the best days of our life, eventually you have to graduate or drop out and you have to get into the real world. And Molly is just sort of just looking back, thinking about her glory days. And I think for uh, fans and viewers, I think you just kind of remember those glory days. There's a little nostalgic about all the crazy stuff, all the dumb stuff, all the fun times that you've had in college. So that alone, you're like, I like Molly because Molly definitely reminds me when I didn't have to pay bills where I could be irresponsible. You can drink and party all night and don't have to worry about getting up early in the morning. You can just get up when you want to. You know, you have class. That's the utmost of your responsibility. You go to the calf. You do whatever you want to do besides going to work here. Um, so when Molly, as a young lawyer, no shows at court. She's like this close from being fired. She's technically fired, but she gets a very unique opportunity to now go undercover back into her college so that her boss's son could be surveillance and she could help in the transitioning process of her son that's in college. Now, her son is Elliot, played by Ty Simpkins, who Ty's having a phenomenal year. You just recently saw Insidious. Ty is going back to college again <laughs> because he is the freshman here and freshman year is not easy if you can remember folks anybody that's went um and it's especially not easy for Elliot because he wants to kind of do his TikTok thing which I guess but at the same time too he's having a hard time kind of fitting in he already has his eyes set on a girl she has a boyfriend he's already been subject of some controversy so things aren't going good there. And the last thing Elliot's mom want is for him running back when he has to go to college here. But as I mentioned, Molly is there alongside of her best friend too, Ollie, who's played by Nico Santos, uh, to go undercover to help him, you know, get accustomed to college life. And this for Molly is like an opportunity of a lifetime because not only did she miss college, she was damn good at it. And also now, she gets to go back with the experience of the real world back into it. Now, how many of you all have wanted to either redo college or school with the information, knowledge, and experience that you now have to go do it again? Well, that's what Molly gets. So I, that's why I love this film because that right there is a selling factor. But this is the icing of the cake. When you talk about the comedy, this film channels American Pie it channels like not another team movie which by the way jamie presley's in this as the character brenda um and it just that level of comedy except that comedy but res with responsibility because like there is some good messages within this as well too i feel like american pie and all those other movies were just a lot of fun and then that's that um this film is by all that but just with the important messages that you kind of learn something within this film so yes it's raunchy they're talking about dicks, they're drinking, all that other stuff that you would expect in college, all that bro, uh, all that bro conversation, you know, all that mildly cringy stuff, it's all in there. It's all in there. So 
I, I I enjoyed it because I just think that like it was such a similarity to something that you know you had experienced in the past, and 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 and, and I think that now as adults you kind of think back about the nostalgia, and then the cast again, uh, Jamie Presley who's Brenda who is Molly's boss by the way who is Elliot's uh, mom, uh, you know seeing faces that you've seen in the past. Um, one of my favorite actors in Sierra Ramirez, who's from Good Trouble and the Fosters, she plays the character Lindsay, who is the love interest here. So that's who Ellie has his eyes on. And you know, she does college very normal, but she do have a boyfriend by the character named Stu, uh, who is played by Jack, Zach Shazier. Uh, Shazier, I think that's how you pronounce his last name, um, who just kills this role, by the way. Stu gives you stickler, but better, which is like, that might be a hot take here. Like I like stickler, but you know, at some point stickler was very annoying. Stickler's iconic, should I just add? Let me put some respect on stickler right now. But I think this is like the, this is the more modern version of stickler that isn't cringy because obviously all the stuff that happened in those films, you really can't really do a lot of that now in society because we have grown as a society so we're not going to be doing and telling tasteless jokes but Stu definitely is that very happy medium of him um so Stu has the muscles he's sort of the jock he's a douche he's absolutely a douche but at the same time too he doesn't make Elliot life easy I mean he is the boyfriend of Lindsay which is a problem for Elliot because he definitely has his eyes on Lindsay and Lindsay may be also looking over at him as well too so there's that he's definitely a douchebag but like again this 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 film was funny it was nostalgic and I also think that um by all of the inspirations from the other films there's even some inspirations from Beer Fest if you was a fan of that like I was also so a particular actor who's also from beer fest in this as well too which is a really good like i feel like it's an easter egg if you want to if i may say but overall it's just a really really good time i really enjoyed this film good laughs good dialogue good script um just you know the story uh good heart good performances even all the way through the credits where you have bloopers the bloopers even add to things as well too so i enjoyed this film and without a doubt i think this is a must watch as the re-education of molly singer comes to theater september 29th folks get in the comments let me know your thoughts about this one when you check it out and as always stay tuned for more reviews very soon